turn this. into this. Okay, just to talk a bit about this footage, so it was shot on the Canon 1DX Mark II. A variety of lenses, the 70-200, 16-35 and the 100mm macro. The Ronin S for stabilization, the cine style picture profile, so it gives you a really flat look, increasing dynamic range and makes it really nice for colour grading. Let's get into Final Cut and let's try to get a cinematic look to this footage. So once you're in Final Cut, you want to come up to the top here and just go new library, we'll call this cinematic look. And then you've got a new library now and we want to create a new project. We want it to be 4K, we'll go with that so we don't get these black bars on the side and 24 frames a second. So you want to upload in 4K to YouTube even though this footage was shot at 1080, we want to upload 4K because then there's less compression in your keep a bit more detail to your footage and let's import our footage okay so we've got a footage in the timeline here and as you can see uh, it's quite shaky so what the Canon 1DX does is it slows down your footage in camera so there's no need to slow it down out of most cameras this is what the footage will look like very shaky no slow motion in camera so I'll just reset it how the 1DX comes out of camera already in slow motion but as I said most cameras you will have to come in and manually slow them down once you once you've imported them okay so now we have nice slow smooth footage and most of these clips I'm gonna put on stabilization kind of dreamy look so I want it nice and smooth gonna add stabilization to them all and then you just want to watch through and check what what clips the stabilization doesn't work that well for sometimes it can look a bit strange and um, warpy that looks really good okay just made the screen a bit bigger for you guys so the first thing I quite often do to get the cinematic look is to add the LUT so what I'll do is just come over here and 4k adjustment layer uh, this is a free adjustment layer you can download from um, is it Christian McGab or something I'll put it on the screen um, he's got awesome content too come over here to custom LUT apply this to your overlay and I'm going to choose Orange and Teal Jungle LUT. This is my LUT I made. And eventually I'll come out with a course on how to create your own LUTs. At the moment I've just got a photo editing course, but eventually I'll show you guys how to make really awesome LUTs like this. But um, yeah, at the moment I'm working really hard on my photo editing course. So I'm not up to that yet. Okay, so we've got our LUT here on apply to our footage and as you can see it looks awesome straight away and what I'm going to do is add the effect color finale pro now you can use any of the software that is given to you already in Final Cut you don't need color finale pro the reason I like to do all my adjustments in color finale pro is that if I happen to like the adjustments I make I've got the option to turn it into a LUT or updating my LUT and stuff like that so don't need this I just like to do my changes in here because if I really like them I can save it into my LUT but you don't need any of these tools to make adjustments and the only adjustment I want is I think our colors look quite harsh so I'm gonna go curves I'm just gonna bring up the shadows a bit take out the highlights a bit and it's just gonna flatten our image a bit not so much contrast I didn't want to bring down the LUT 
because then you'll start to lose your colors but adjusting it this way we're just um, taking out a little bit of contrast so curves before and after taking out a touch of contrast there and what I'll do is actually upload it to YouTube actually check what the contrast looks like and then maybe even come back in and change it because when you upload to YouTube it quite often can change the contrast a lot enhances it sometimes okay so there we've got our colors applied and then to get the cinematic look we want letterbox so I, I think I downloaded letterbox years and years ago I can't remember where I got it from but there's plenty if you just give it a Google there'll be plenty of places you can download them seven or eight I like to go for let's try eight and then we need some music okay so here's our music I just dropped in it's from epidemic sound so I'll put a link down free trial to epidemic sounds and it's called through the hourglass really awesome song um, yeah I use them for most of my music so I'll link directly to it as well so you can see that really really adds to the vibe I just want to touch up some exposure from our clips so this one for example I want to brighten just a bit overall it's a bit dark I think that looks a bit better there and then this clip I think maybe the highlights are a bit harsh because the cinematic look is a flat look you want to add very little contrast to your already flat look because hopefully in camera you're shooting a C log or a really flat picture profile and what I do is to double check that I'm getting the right contrast in my image is I turn everything off and I want to be able to see the same amount of detail after I apply my LUT I don't want to be adding too much contrast in so it already comes out of camera a very cinematic style if it's if you shoot it in flat so you don't want to add too, you don't want to remove any more detail and I think this clip could do with dropping the highlights a touch now let's add in some sound effects so don't skip on your sound effects guys let's come over to our inbuilt ones and let's type in bell which i already have there bell let's try church bell okay that's good let's put that at the front there I only want it on that first clip and then I want it to fade away and what I also want is some wind to go with that flag fluttering so type in wind I think a wind I quite like is the cave wind here so I'll drop that in too Okay, I just dropped in some other clips so this one for example and what I want to do is make it that your eye is drawn to the middle of the image there I'm just gonna come up here hit color board and we hit mask and keep the mask right in the middle there I'm gonna have it affecting the outside of the circle and I just want to drop the exposure a little and that's just gonna keep our eye right in on the subject and then maybe the last step is to add some sharpening and grain so let's go grain grain filter on our adjustment clip we have to change it to realistic grain let's drop it all the way down let's just go with five we definitely want sharpening but we will drop it a lot to say 0.7 and then just for the colors of this I want to go for a really warm look so I'm going to come back into color finale come in with color wheels and I'm just going to add some more yellows and oranges to the highlights 
and I'll just see how that looks. And I just think that gives a much richer vibe to the, the colors that we're already trying to achieve. And yeah, that's it guys. Let's see how this one looks.